Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to, I guess this is another uh, daily video. And I wanted to do two things in this video. One, I wanted to do the rebirth for, for the Incubus. And the second thing, actually, I wanted to do first. So this is actually technically one, the other is two. Um, I, someone, someone messaged me and wanted me to test out the Light Incubus. And he actually, like, it, he raised it to max level, has it completely gemmed out, Evil 3 um, variant in just one day. So I think that's pretty amazing. Um, so we're gonna, we're actually gonna test them out. Um, this isn't really an official monster spotlight. I basically just did this so I can um, showcase this monster because other people have also been asking me before in, in, in the comments about how if this monster is usable for, um, for Goblin's B10 as a passive healer and stuff. So he basically has him, um, you know, perfect leader skill and um, six stars, evil three, has it with a ruin set of crit rate double attack. Um, it doesn't have a hundred percent attack. I think it's at like seventy something, which is whoa, whoa, whoa no 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 eighty eighty four. It's at 80, 85. 5. It's at 85.5, so I basically I just need like one crit lead, and I will be able to push him to 100% crit. Um, so I'm gonna cheat a bit. I'll use my I'll use my wood Anu, so he can get. Yeah, he, he's gemmed up. I just I just need to make sure, so he can get max crit. And um, basically, I'll just be using these two as as wave clear. And the other thing you kind of want to do is you want to have a I guess. Probably someone else has split up the damage because he's um, he's quite squishy. Like if four monsters attack him, he's dead for sure. And you want to have enough damage on the first wave to um, to kill something on the first wave. So I think ideally, um, before we go in, I want to talk a little bit about this monster and how I would actually try to use him because I only have one chance to showcase this monster. We only get to do one run. Um, now, he is a light monster, so that means he comes with a bonus 10% crit, which means that it's much, much easier to get this monster to 100% crit versus normal uh, monsters and, and even dark monsters. And um, the other thing is he's also a light element. So what this means is if you're using a light element against the dark element, which on the dark element stage, you also get a 50% bonus damage, which means he has enough damage to basically one-shot uh, one of the any of the monsters on the wave um, if you have him on like a ruin set or a valor set so ideally what you would want to do is you would probably um, Actually, I, I I won't use the crit lead because I actually wanted to which is imagine he has better gems um, I'm gonna use the um, The light Nike because the light Nike has the attack lead and this is a monster that everybody has So I think this is a pretty fair way to to show this monster um, and I guess the other two monsters, ideally what you want to use is like, if you had two light rat, I would definitely do, do something like this. Um, it would be very, very stable. But if you don't have that, um, you can probably use another, um, either use two of him, because he is an attacker, so they will be able to wave clear, or you want to use like a morale boost attack, or something like the, the light jack or a light Sarah. Unfortunately, my light Sarahs are built for, um, built for PvP, I don't have have them um, with a lot of damage. So I guess there I really don't have any choice. I have to use one of my radices. Um, and then the other thing is you want to use something like a um, probably a sapper, especially if you don't have a radis and you're using a wave clear monster, you want to have like at the very very least you want to have one sapper. This way um, this way it should be very very easy. Like you should be able to to clear the golem, no problem. So I'm just gonna throw in some someone random. Um, I'm not sure if Water Miho even has gems. Whoops. Oh yeah, she has gems. Right, we'll throw her in. All right, so this should be actually wait. Using using the rat is a little bit. Uh, it's kind of cheating. I'll use an attacker, just some random attack, some random light attacker. I'll use like this. Probably replace this with like a light jack, or if you had like two light incubus, you could run them both. And what we're going to do in this test is we're, first of all, we're going to see if this team is stable against the boss. Second of all, I wanted to test out um, each each monster's damage. So I'm going to be pausing the fight um, and doing it manually on the first two waves. And then once we pass the first two waves, I'll turn it to auto and we can see if um, they're able to run it pretty well on, on full auto. Um, I guess before we start, I guess, 
I, I guess the gems don't really matter. She's she's on siphon triple defense. This is on a crit um, double attack set ruin, and then she's also on a crit double attack set ruin. He's also on a crit double attack set ruin. Um, so yeah, they're they're gonna be doing a lot of damage, especially if they crit. They're definitely gonna be able to um, one shot one shot the first wave. So we're gonna try this out. Yeah, my nose is like my nose is clogged. All right, for science, um, we're gonna see if he's able to one shot the. I guess the moonflower is the tankiest. We're gonna see if he's able to do it um, with an attack lead, ruin set. If he crits, definitely should be able to kill it. Okay, that did not work. Hmm, I might have to rethink my life decisions. What? Oh yeah. Oh shit. Wait. Oh shit, his damage is not high enough. Uh, that's that, that's that's a bit troublesome. Oh, my spark, my spark, it died. Okay, this is not a good good idea. This is a bad idea. All right, he he is. He is able to kill the minnows, but he's not able to kill the moonflowers, which is a bit troublesome. Oh god, don't get one shot. Oh my god. Well, that was, that was anticlimactic. This was so fail, and I don't have a second chance to show this. Well, I guess we can go do the rebirths. Um, what went wrong there? What went wrong there? Uh, I expected him to do a lot more damage than he did, and that that was what went wrong. I expected him to do a lot more damage than, than what he did. Um, especially on a ruin set with the attack lead, I thought he would be able to at least one-shot the moonflowers. But I was, I was a little bit off with the calculations. Those were 6-star gems too, like... Yeah, we're just... We're, we're, we're kind of just fucked. Man, what? What went wrong there? Alright, I think... Um, I think you should still be able to use him. But I, I probably would not recommend him because um, the thing is he's light, but he's not able to kill the the first wave in like one go, which makes like a light attacker that can't do that is is uh, might might not be the best. How much damage does he have? Three thousand one hundred. He has enough. He has the same as the the uh, the radices, but the radices have skill books. Or he has higher damage than Radices, but the Radices have skill book. Um, all right, we'll, we'll we'll be back again. We'll, we'll we'll try we'll try out another team tomorrow with the uh, with the light incubus. That was that was so fail. That was one hundred percent fail. Um, but I guess I'll sh still show that part in the video. Uh, I guess in theory this monster could work. You, you just have to maybe run a different team. Like instead of running a another attacker, because running another attacker is risky, especially if that if that attacker is not able to um, one shot the wave. Or if you like, you know, the Radis team that I use is really stable because even if one of them dies, the other three is still always able to take down the boss afterwards because of how many saps that they have. So it makes it really, really stable, and they're also all on siphon. So I guess I don't, I would not really <laughs> recommend using him for B10 unless you, maybe unless you have him on siphon, like or unless you have like a whole bunch of light attackers on siphon. Because um, the reason why the, the the reason why you can make like light attacker teams that are that are strong for golems B10 really or 
like fat, really fast where Dolan's B10 really stable is you just got you got to push past a certain threshold and that threshold is basically the ability to like um, one shot the first wave and if you can't do that then then it's just gonna fail because the first wave is gonna do too much damage to your monsters that um, that is gonna die so he doesn't even have a really that good of a leader skill it's a defense lead which is kind of useless in b10 well, I guess you could use it for like a beginner comp. It's better than nothing, but I would still much, much prefer to use an attack lead like the uh, the light Nike. I guess this is a good chance to talk about B10. Um, a lot of people have been asking, because the, the reason why I wanted to show off that monster, or also do a bit of testing, is because some people have been asking if they should use that monster for B10. I think, it, in theory, it could work, but it's also going to be very, very hard to pull off, and it, it probably will not be as stable as uh, as I thought it would, because I was really expecting if, like, you put him on a ruin set, he should be, able, with an attack lead, he should be able to one-shot the first wave. Um, and because he's not able to do that, it kind of just... Like, my, my hopes and dreams have just gone down the drain. Um, maybe if he had skill books. Like, maybe if you skill, skill booked him up, um, it could work. But I would only really use him if you don't have, like, like if you don't have Radices. Um, you could also, like, not even think about using him. You could just use, like, another morale booster. to Because um, if you're using, like, a really offensive team for B10, you don't necessarily need, need the healing. Because you also get healing from, from the Red Souls. Um, from Red Soul Recovery, so you don't necessarily need to <laughs> need to rely on his passive heal. Like it's kind of it's kind of redundant. It's kind of useless because even if he heals, like if you have your monsters on like a siphon set, they're just gonna kill everything in one wave, and the Red Soul that they generate is gonna max heal them anyways. So his heal is not really all that useful. But it could be a different story in PvP though. Um, maybe you could use that monster in PvP, but I think for Golem's B10, I don't think, I really don't think he's ideal. I just, yeah, I, I don't think he's, he's that good. I, I really don't. Um, go for the wood one, guys. Go for the wood one. The wood one is a, is an awesome farmer. Um, all right, so I guess it's time, it's my turn. It's, it's my turn to do some summoning and try to get the, the Incubus. Um, if you wanted me to rate the Incubus, I basically gave them an order. I would I would rate Wood One first. Um, I rated the Light One second, but now I'm thinking now I'm thinking Wood, then Fire, then Light, then Dark, then Water. Um, I remember the Water One had really bad skills. Like, yeah, Adrenaline Taunt is just no. Um, the Dark One is a he is a dark attacker, so he will be able to do quite a lot of damage. And he does have self-healing. Um, greatly restored own HP. Maybe... Yeah, maybe... Wood, fire, dark, light. Then water. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking now. He was much better on paper. He was, he was so much better on paper. It wasn't even the gem's fault because he even crit. He he crit on that attack, so it's not you can't blame like him having low crit rate. It was with a ruin set, double crit attack, and with an attack lead. Like, I guess I guess it just it just it it's it's not meant to be. It's just not meant to be. Um, I heard that someone did some calculations. He heals about 50, 15 percent of the damage that he deals, but. Because that he he's not able to like one shot the the monsters on the first wave, um, it's not gonna work. It's just it's just not gonna work. Maybe if you had him on a siphon, it, it might I, I could see it possibly working. Like if you ran two of them and they bo they're both on like a hundred percent crit siphon, then yeah. But then again, you could put any monster on a hundred percent crit siphon and it would still work. So he's not really all that special. Alright, that being said, I'm going to do some summoning, and I'm going to try to get the wood one. Um, 
That was a long rant. Oh wait, shit. I just realized something. Wait, my festival ended. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wait, what? It was it wasn't supposed to end yet. Oh wait, shit. I'm I'm an hour too late. Oh my god. Fuck me. <laughs> Today is so much fail. Today is just a hundred percent fail. Um Damn, I, I, I wanted to, like, I wanted to m make this video, I, want, I still wanted to show this video, I think this video made a good point, but that was so anti-comatic, that was like, there's like nothing for me to show you guys now, what the hell? Alright, today, today is fail day, I'm just, I'm, I'm having like a super off day, but you know what I can, what I can do? I do have 56 eggs, I mean, we could, uh, we could crack some eggs, do some rebirths, as always. I guess that always works. Didn't want to make a summoning video two two days in a row, but it it just has to be. Maybe maybe I'll get a nat five then. But right now is a pretty good time to summon, so I guess my luck probably won't be as good as last time. But you know you know what? I'm in trouble. I'm in I'm in huge trouble because my <laughs> My astronaut inventory is so full now. I was supposed to use a lot of them for rebirth. I even did one incubus rebirth to f to clear up my my inventory, and now it's like now it's full again. <laughs> it's all right. We'll we'll rebirth all these, so technically my my inventory shouldn't be full at all. Man, I am so fail. I am so fail today. But I guess this is a pretty good daily video. I haven't like just, you know, showed showed random stuff, showed progression, summoned some some guys. Um, haven't raised the monster in quite a while. I'm waiting for. I'm waiting. Oh, oh, you know what I'm waiting for? I was I was waiting for the uh, the new new vote, the new packages and stuff. I, I actually forgot to talk about that. Um, you know how they're doing like this this new package event where they bring back the old rebirth monsters and you can buy them from packages. Vote for Mona, guys. Vote for Mona. All right, that's all I have to say. But I think Mona is definitely gonna win because a lot of people want Dark Mona and don't don't have her. Um, I, I have Dark Monas, but mine don't have like square slots at all, so I definitely do want to try to get more. Um, but yeah, maybe, hopefully the packages aren't too expensive. And there's like option, options to buy a few, because if I'm only able to buy one and I still get a Dark Mona without a square slot, then I'm going to be really sad. Oh, there we go. What?! Not not bad, not bad. Not not the best Shinobi, not the not the one I want, but still still pretty good. Like still a Nat five. Like if I ever do get the fire one, I can make it Evo three. Now the, the fire one's like the strongest. Like the fire Shinobi is probably the strongest Titans monster. Besides like, actually wait, is the fire Shinobi stronger than Water Belrona? I think Water Belrona is too hard to get. But there we go. That's that's another nat five. Like two, two, two in a row. That's that's how we do it. So we just get nat fives nonstop. I guess I can fail, but I guess my luck can't fail me, right? There we go. That's that's what I'm talking about. Fire Shinobi is like so good. Actually, wait, no. Fire Shinobi is definitely stronger than Water Bell Rona. You want to know why? Because Fire Shinobi's second skill is a single target as well. So it just it just does insane damage. Like even if it's not a creative strike, like the single target plus the fire, especially if you're like fighting a Wood Titan, it just it just does so much damage. 
Well, not just so much damage, but it has utility as well. Like, his first skill does so much damage, but his second skill, like, it does... It does really nice damage, plus it has utility, so that's, that's awesome. There we go, that's, that's, that's how we do it, just, just pull nat 5s non-stop, you know? I skip, uh, I skip festivals, still get nat 5s, that's, that's how we do it here at, here at Fantasy Gaming. Oh, my inventory is full, but we, we can always revert, oh wait, wait, not the birdies, not the, not the birdies. The birdies are like the most valuable nat threes to me now because I have so many birdies to raise, but like I can't get any birdies besides summoning, so it's like the only way I can get birdies. Just gotta try to not feed any of those away. Um, before the shinobi popped up, I was talking about the monas. Um, yeah, the monas are really, really good. Especially, they're good everywhere because they're the morale, morale boost attackers that are dark. So, which means that they can be used for any element. Um, they're good for, like, PvP offense. They're, like, top tier. They're not, like, a tier below anything. They're, like, top tier. Um, because, because of just, they're dark, you know. Um, but I think, I think dark, uh, dark seedler might actually be the, be the stronger one for, for PvP offense. But Mona is still... Very very good for farming because she uh, she she is a moral boost dark monster so you can use her to to farm any stage. Um, yeah, just just really good. She's just really awesome. So I was, I was actually thinking about summoning for Heroes Fest, but then like I first of all I forgot. Second of all, um, after the news about the the voting for like Mona came out, I was like, no, I'm saving all my Astro gems. We're gonna get we're gonna get as many Dark Monas as I can when that when that comes around. Um, wait, did I did I almost just try to use a birdie for rebirth? Man, getting these Steelers is not going to be easy. But at least they didn't introduce any random new monster into into the pool, so um, I just I guess I just have to keep re rebirth rebirthing until I eventually get it. We don't need this. We don't need these two. All right. Uh, actually, I don't need the light wolves either. What am I doing with the light wolves? I'm probably not going to do a Shiva fusion until I have three more other Shivas. Like, I'm not going to do a second Shiva fusion. Hey, maybe I'll get another nat 5 and 20 eggs and break the game. You know, you know what I want in life? I just want, I just want a variant nat 5. That's what I want. Like, it's, it's so hard. I only have, like, one variant nat 5. Actually, I summoned the Siegfried. That was a variant, so I guess that counts, too. But, like, I only have my Nightmare. That's a variant. I guess Nightmare is pretty good. Ooh, there we go. That's a, that's a Victoria. Man, I was I was supposed to do this an hour ago. I I fucked up really bad. I'm just afraid I'm gonna have my inventory be like super full for the entire month until the next rebirth comes around. And I, I can't miss that one because I like I really don't have any Astromon inventory left. Are there any variant Nat 4s that I don't have yet? 
that I want. Hmm. I need something with attack lead. Those are always pretty pretty hard to get. You know, I was I was starting to lose faith on the on these eggs until like last time I summoned. Now my faith has been restored. Eggs are awesome. All right, eleven more eggs. And we'll, we'll do a few rebirths, and hopefully, I can get a dark seedler. I do want to try to get like three. Like this time, I really want to try to get three dark seedlers because um, they're going to be super good for for PvP. Like they're not just. I think they're a notch, but beyond uh, like a Tito and stuff. Because of how they have elemental edge on on first skill, it's gonna do so much damage. It's gonna be insane. Like they'll they'll, they'll like tear through uh, like fire Odin's like like it's nothing. I don't know what four thirty three was thinking. They they gave a dark monster, element a dark attacker elemental edge on first skill, and that monster also happens to have skill books. Like what? And like a th three star skill book, not even like four star skill books. Like it's gonna, it's gonna be insane. Like I, I truly think that monster is gonna be game breaking. Three more eggs. Maybe I'll get one more, one more uh, nat four. All right, my inventory's full. That that uh, that just cucked me. I was supposed to. My my OCD is acting up. I'm supposed to summon that last egg. Let's let's go back and summon it, just so I I don't have anything. You know, I'm saving all my small eggs for when um, when they release new monsters. I like to save these for when they release new monsters, and then I just pop them until I have the new monsters. And then I can complete my Astro Guide. I just remember that small eggs also gave birdies as well. So I think that's pretty good too. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's Dark Seedler. Please have square. Does it have square? Yes, it has square. We win. Oops, I forgot to check my rebirth quest. Uh, but it's fine. We just we're just gonna keep going until we're out of monsters. That's sweet. I, I really just only need three for the month. You really don't need more than three. Um, I'm pretty confident I can jump them up like pretty well. Doesn't matter what slots they have as long as they have one square. I could probably gem them up pretty well because I have a lot of good gems now. Ooh, what? Oh, there we go. That's that's the second one. That's what I'm talking about. And it also has square. It's got two squares. Perfect. All right, I'm almost done for the month. Hey, maybe now now I'm starting to feel greedy. Like I wanna. I want a triple square one. I want a master race. But that one was pretty close. Cool. So I had two square one diamond. Which is um, my second favorite. Oh wait, no birdie. What am I doing? I just I almost I almost used the birdie for rebirth. You know what the, the best thing about this? Like about this this month's rebirth is you can try a lot of times. Because the seedlers you can keep feeding them back. You don't have to use them to raise the raise your dark seedlers. Because if you really need to, you just keep re rebirthing. Like, keep throwing your sealers back into the rebirth. And um, after the month is over, 
you and you have like all the dark seedlers you want, you just go to Mirage Ruins and you just farm seedlers here. And yeah, just you just keep farming seedlers until you, you have what you need. So you can always do it afterwards. It's not gonna be like the birdies, because the birdies, I was trying to get a lot a lot of the dark birdies. And I, I fed all the birdies back, but now I'm like in this position where um, the only way I can evil my birdies is if I summon them from eggs. And it's super hard to get the birdies because they're the, the wood ones are two stars. So it's very, very difficult. Um, this one actually has he actually has decent uh has decent slots. Actually, no, double triangle is not that good. I did like one rebirth because I was running out of room. And I was gonna be like, I was gonna do the other two like an hour ago. But I, I missed it. And now I'm sad. And now my, my inventory is like super full. And there's nothing I can do. Like I'm just gonna have to I'm gonna have to try to last until ne next uh next festival. That was 100 percent my bad. Well, I'll get my little quest myself later. Hmm, Water Shinobi. This is a Nat 5 I don't have yet. I can't remember what the Fire Shinobi has. Oh, he's got attack down. Yeah, he's he's definitely like super beast. If I if I get like a fire one, I'll feed the water and wood into him. He's definitely worth evil three. He's like he's like the second best Titans monster in like the game. The best is uh the best I'll still say is Dark Indra. Because Dark Indra has the dark crit damage. And and Courageous Strike on first and second skill, so you kinda can't beat that. But yeah, that was it. That that is it for today's video. Um, it was very very fail, but I, I somehow I, we salvaged it. I, I actually it wasn't my me that salvaged it. It was my insane luck as usual. Um, but anyways, I'll continue to spread some salt, and you guys can uh, use it to season your food. And we'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.